Basically, how an electrical impedance scale works is that you stand on the scale and it sends an electric pulse up one leg into your nutsack, down the other Dude. leg. Yeah, that's not how it works. It doesn't actually have anything to do with that. Not into the... No, what's wrong with you? I thought it was into the... Dude, didn't you research this video at all? Okay, someone told me that. It's not... Come on. All right, well, um, we'll just... We'll do it over again, okay? A few minutes later... So basically how an electrical impedance scale works is that you stand on the scale and it sends an electric pulse up through one leg throughout the entire body and it checks how much water you have in your body. It uses this information to try to estimate your body fat percentage, how much of your mass is muscle and how much is fat. Seems smart, right? Trouble is it doesn't work. In fact, they are so inaccurate and so variable in their readings that I would say they should not even exist. Whoever is producing these or using these in their doctor's offices or whatever is completely full of it. They can vary as much as 4% in a single day. Yes, you can gain 4% muscle and lose 4% fat in a single day. If you're dehydrated, it can cause you to read up as much as 5 kilos of fat. Because you're dehydrated, you have less water, therefore it thinks you have less muscle and more fat. And so 5% if you're just dehydrated. If you take a workout before the reading, like let's say you work out for an hour and a half, two hours, it can read as much as 12 kilos more of fat. I'm not even sure if I have 12 kilos of fat. That is a massive amount of fat, and it's just not accurate enough to actually be useful. They shouldn't be called smart scales. They should be called stupid scales. Okay, I feel bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. The reason I'm making this video is that sometimes I get contacted with this scale information, and I sort of have to set the record straight. For example, someone contacted me today. I wrote them a custom plan about two months ago, and they said that they went to their nutritionists, and they used one of these scales and it said that they had lost muscle and gained fat, basically a reverse body recomposition. And so I asked them, I said, how did they measure your body fat percentage? And I knew, I already knew, I knew it was one of these sort of grab the handholds, kind of you know, stand on the scale, we'll zap you full of energy and we'll check your body fat percentage kind of bullshit machines. But I had to ask just to make sure. Uh, then I also asked him, like, have you been progressing in weight in the gym? Have you been progressively overloading? And he said, yeah, my lifts have been going up and I asked him, like, do you feel fatter? Do you feel leaner? Or like, you know, what do you actually look like in the mirror? And he said, no, I think I've been improving in that way. So he's been getting stronger while bulking and also getting leaner. So if anything, he's gaining muscle while losing fat. And the scale says the opposite. And he was getting really down on himself. He felt really hopeless and disappointed when, in fact, his training has been going really well. So just because you see some bullshit scale give you some readout that doesn't look good... You should always go based on the mirror, based on a normal scale, and based on how you feel. If you look like you're getting leaner, you're getting leaner. If you're gaining strength, you're almost certainly gaining muscle. Basically, if you feel like you're getting leaner and you're getting stronger, that is a fantastic result over any kind of time period, let alone a few weeks. And so, yeah, trust yourself, trust the process, and just because some scale says that you're getting fatter while losing muscle, it doesn't mean that it's actually accurate. I think a lot of people, they put too much trust in these kind of scales when they just are not accurate enough to actually be used in any kind of reasonable circumstance. So if you're getting stronger, it's highly unlikely that you've lost muscle. And if you are looking leaner, it's highly unlikely that you gained fat. So in this case, don't trust the scale. And if your nutritionist or doctor is like, whoa, you've, you've negative recomped, but every other information says you haven't, don't trust that. Trust yourself, trust the mirror, trust the scale, and trust your own experiences, and trust the process. All right, that is all for this video. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you decide what you watch, not the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.